Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to interpret graphs showing the pressure and volume changes taking place in the heart during the cardiac cycle. In the last video we looked at the events taking place in the heart during the cardiac cycle, in particular the role of the different valves. And if you haven't seen that video then you need to watch it. Now scientists have determined the blood pressure in the different parts of the heart during the cardiac cycle. And I'm showing you that in this graph here. I should point out that this graph applies to the left side of the heart, although the right side would show a similar pattern. The top graph shows the pressure changes taking place, and the bottom graph shows the volume of the left ventricle. We're going to look at the top graph first. Now students often find this graph challenging. However, don't get bogged down by any of the values. Instead, try to learn how the pressure differences cause valves to open and close. Now the green line shows the pressure in the left atrium, and the red line shows the pressure in the left ventricle. The orange line shows the pressure in the aorta, which takes blood out of the left ventricle. At the start, the left atrium is undergoing systole, in other words contracting. This causes the pressure in the left atrium to increase. The atrioventricular valve is open, so blood flows down into the left ventricle, and this causes the pressure of the left ventricle to increase. Now the left ventricle contracts, in other words it enters systole. Pressure in the left ventricle massively increases. Because the pressure in the left ventricle is now greater than in the left atrium, the atrioventricular valve shuts. When the pressure in the left ventricle is greater than in the aorta, the semilunar valve in the aorta opens. Blood now flows out of the left ventricle through the aorta. The pressure in the left ventricle now falls as blood is leaving. At a certain point, the pressure in the left ventricle is less than in the aorta. Now the semilunar valve in the aorta closes, preventing blood being drawn back into the left ventricle. Now you'll notice that while the left ventricle was contracting, the left atrium was relaxing, and this means that the left atrium is now refilling with blood. The left ventricle now starts to relax, causing pressure in the ventricle to fall. Eventually the pressure in the left ventricle falls below the pressure in the left atrium. At this point, the atrioventricular valve opens, and blood begins to flow into the left ventricle from the left atrium. As the atria and ventricles refill, the heart is now ready to enter the next cardiac cycle. Ok, now the blue line shows the volume of blood in the left ventricle. We can see that blood volume increases as it's pumped into the left ventricle when the left atrium contracts. When the left ventricle contracts, blood volume falls as blood passes out through the aorta. And finally, blood volume increases again as the left ventricle relaxes and blood flows down from the left atrium. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the pressure changes taking place during the cardiac cycle. 